Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we are going to be uh, aiming for our first gem badge. Hopefully, that's the goal. That's the goal. But first, outfit? No, I think I have to go buy stuff. <laughs> Not outfit. Never mind. I do like that you can change your outfit in this game. Big, ooh, maybe you can go in here and get an outfit change. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, hello, hello. Welcome. Okay, wait. I wait. What? Can I not buy stuff? What would you like to do? Try on. Yeah. Hey, give me stuff. Mhm. Mm where? Go? Oh, where? Oh, here we go. Logo T-shirt. Logo cap. Knit cap. Ooh, the knit cap looks cool. The camo cap. What? Camo. Yeah, done. All right. That's all we needed. Let's see it. Oh, man. Oh, don't we look so much better? We definitely needed more different things. Nah, we're good. That looks stunning. Oh, yeah, we're buying that. We'll spend half our money on that any day. Okay, cool. Please come again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good salesmanship, good salesmanship. Anyway, let's take a quick uh, look in at the team before we go and, you know, fight hard for you. Obviously, we need to do a little bit, a little bit of trading. We're not quite there yet. Uh, we have Tom John the Fletchling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no flying type moves. Uh, Axe the Mighty Froakie. Yes, very good, very good. And then Toth, our wonderful Pidgey there. There we go. No, neither of our birds has flying type moves yet, which is a bummer because we're going up against a bug type gym. Actually, Tom John should be able to just destroy this gym because uh, he's fire and flying. And, uh, you know, bugs don't like either of those things. Good news. There is a place to do some training. Wait. What is your beef? Hey, stranger. Isn't cruising around town on New Orleans gets the best thing? What? You don't even own a pair? Yes. Uh, yeah, I want a battle. Bring it. Whether it's Pokemon or roller skates, speed is important. Well, it's hard to argue with you. Zigzagoon. What's she got? That just this one Pokemon? And roller skates are on the line? Ho ho. She doesn't even know what's up. We're just gonna immediately switch because the level seven Zigzagoon looks pretty intimidating, I dare say. I cannot believe you already had a death. I'm still missing Dar the Weedle. Oh, Growl. Oh, you jest, Zigzagoon, you jest. So let's just go ahead and bubble this thing to death. No problem, no problem. Oh, mighty axe. Yes. I can't wait till we have some sort of move that might be more like swinging an axe. That would be great. But you know, people do frequently say bubbles are like axes. So, don't they? Bubbles really are the axes of the soap world, right? Yeah, we all know it to be true. Tom John learned quick attack. Yay, Tom John. Tom, what, did you get two levels out of that, Tom John? My goodness. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we like. We like speedy growth. Just like that, in a single swoop. Do, do we have our Tom John and uh, Tarth the same level? Yes, yes, wonderful. Can I, am I, yes. Oh, look at this. Look at the roller skating tricks. I'm already a pro. I'm already a pro. I'm already a pro. Whoa. I hear about roller, uh, Derek's uh, girlfriend it does roller derby, and then Jordan in her office does roller derby. So I end up hearing a lot more about roller skating than you'd think in, uh, in general conversation. Um, obviously, neither of them's as good as I am on these skates. That might not even be true. I have no idea. Not actually seen them. Okay, Tom John, not quite the same as Tarth. We're gonna have to keep an eye on these two right here, Tom John and Tarth. Um, I don't know. I haven't. Uh, I, I, Tom John's real personality hasn't quite emerged yet, but. Um, let me just go ahead and tell you, we've dealt with female Pidgeys in the past, and uh, you know what? Nothing's changed. They're always insanely proud birds, and Tarth is right up there with them. Um, 
uh, the, so the, what I've what we've observed in the past about the the female uh, side of the Pidgey species is that they are always uh, very proud, very wanting to prove themselves in battle, and uh, very faithful um, to whatever is the strongest. Typically, well, not even always the strongest. Typically, whoever is maybe maybe more of like the leader. Now, Tarth got here, uh, but only there was Axe, uh, so. Uh, immediately immediate loyalty to axe here and then immediately threatened by tom john which to tom john's credit he didn't do anything but i mean you know that's how it is so we'll see um we'll see how tom john ends up reacting but right now i'm already concerned about the relationship here um that's that's my number one as far as as far as team dynamics just yet uh we'll see we'll see may oh route 22 let's write this down 22 which means we can catch a new pokemon on this route didn't realize we went from route one to two or two to three to 22 so uh apparently we just skipped a ton uh let's see actually this is a good route there's good pokemon you can catch on this route i want the little leo that's what i want to run into i know you can catch it here i want the big lion let's do it also there's good trainers on here. I say good. There are trainers on here. You know what? Let's just, we almost lost to a Pikachu in the last round, a level five Pikachu. So let's not discount anyone. Obviously Tom John's gonna switch out here. We're not going to risk uh, crazy sauce fighting against the Psyduck. What if it has a psychic type attack? We're part, I don't, are we part fire already? Or do we evolve into part fire? That's a good question. I should check the typing on these things. Sometimes they don't, it doesn't happen right away, you know. Excuse me. So, I think Lick should actually do some pretty significant damage here, right? Oh, nope, I was wrong. Oh, you wanna bring, you wanna go, you wanna scratch? You wanna scratch him, uh, uh, a frog with such big eyes? That's rude. You probably, what if you hit me in the eyes? Water sport, there you go, that's more my speed. Fire's power was weakened, yes, because likely we had fire types out against this water type Pokemon. Quick attack! Yes, haha. <laughs> Quick defeat! That's what's up! Axe gained 81. Tom Dragon to level 8. Oh my gosh. Tarth is going to hate him even more now. Little Leo, yes, this is what we're aiming for. So, both of these Pokemon, Psyduck and Little Leo, are available for capture on this route. I want the little Leo. Now, I know we already have a fire type, so um, I shouldn't, but we also already have a flying type, so you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Uh, look at that, oh, it's such a cool Pokemon. It's so cool. Quick attack, destroy it, burn it. No, don't burn it, burn I'd probably help. Mm. Yay, go Axe. Okay, so I have a query for you guys that I really need you to um, to vote on, I suppose. This is uh, going to be a, excuse me, uh, something we're gonna have to deal with moving forward is that this game has something called the EXP share. And let's go ahead and fight this girl real quick. What? Hey, you want to fight? Hey, bring it on. Hey, girl. Hey, come on, Goldine. Let's show them what we're made of. Goldine? Where'd you get a Goldine? Bring it on, Goldine. You've got nothing. You do not scare me. Let's see. Uh, although I am maybe part fire. Let's see. Let's just... Uh, are we fire type already? Right now, we're just normal flying. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and fight it. What could happen? Why not? Quick attack. Ba-boom. Yeah. Pack. Let's see how much this does. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a crit. So I'm really not afraid of this thing now. We're just going to go ahead and quick attack this. Kazam. Kazap. Oh, big pecs. What? What? You didn't see that coming, did you, Goldeen? Yeah. Take that home. Now you're dead, you stupid fish. Mm-hmm. 81 points. That's right. We're going to level up again. Meryl! That's right. You've got nothing, Meryl. Quick attack. Ba-boom. 
tail whip. Big pecs. Did you learn nothing? Were you not watching? You weird blue mouse. I don't think you were watching. You disrespect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Here we go. The big QA. There it is. Oh, oh no. Water gun. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Tom John. Look at that resistance. That's fantastic. That's what we'd like to see. That's what we want out of our Pokemon. Yes. Okay. Well done. Well done. Now we're going to get another level. It's fantastic. Yay, Tom John. Going to level nine. Man, Tom John's going so fast. Look at that. We almost got two levels again. My goodness, the the amount of experience needed to raise a Fletchling is apparently not high, which is fine by me. We're going to go heal real quick. That's the game in the Nuzlocke. Just uh, heal often, right? Because you might think, ah, it's no big deal. It's always, you know, you can never, you must always be aware of the random critical hit. The crit is the bane of the Nuzlocke. We've already seen it. That's what happened to Dar. He got critted. By some dumb electric mouse thing, whatever it is, whatever it's called. Who even knows? One of the least popular Pokemon ever, probably. Just kidding. It was Pikachu. He's like the mascot of everything. Anyway, let's move Tarth to the beginning. So the EXP share, if you're unfamiliar, is a hold. It used to be a hold item. You would give it to one of your Pokemon to hold, and then they would not have to appear in battle, but they would still receive half of the experience of the battle. They would split it with whoever did the actual fighting. In this game, the EXP share is more of like a like a mode almost. You can turn it on or off, and if it's on. Um, what it does is it will whoever like whoever did the fighting will get 100 percent of the experience but every other member of the team will also then get 50 percent of the experience so like if if for example uh axe defeated someone and got 100 experience points everyone on the team would get 50 experience points um i'm pretty sure that's how it breaks down but uh either way that's the effect and so you can see where having it turned on would very much give Pokemon that didn't battle experience and might make things easier, which might not be in the spirit of the Nuzlocke. However, I will uh, make a case for the fact that the, I think the game is intended to be played with it on. I have played a Nuzlocke before with it on and still lost stuff. Um, my only, my argument for it is that uh, in this particular, the way I'm playing this game right now, I don't have like a turbo button like I used to have. So the act of grinding will just take me forever. Um, often, even with the turbo button, I would sit here and play the game for two hours just grinding Pokemon. And I feel like that's going to be uh, a much harder slog uh without it and i would use the exp share as its old functionality as a big way to do that so um that would be just as a matter of time saving and getting these videos produced for you guys in a regular manner that is my argument for it however i also understand the point of this is to be a little bit more difficult so if you guys are vehemently against it i will also turn it off maybe we just do it during grinding or something but at that point it's like does, does it, is it making any difference? We're just going to get everyone up to the same level anyway. We may, like, wouldn't it have just been easier to have it on? I don't, I don't know. I don't rightly know. Um, I don't think it'll super take away from the drama of the series. Uh, but I, I am open to you guys, uh, what, what, what you want to do. Um, and for the sake of, I don't know, let's just say, should we play with it on or should we play with it off? Let me know in the towel section down below. And right now, let's see who we're gonna add to the team. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Route 22, what's our first Pokemon? Ah, what is it? Ah, little Leo, little Leo. Oh, it is, it's a lit Leo. Oh my God, yay. Yes, wonderful, unnerved. Your team is too nervous to what? To eat berries. Oh. Okay. Uh Tarth. Give it a little give it a little tackle. Give that little Leo a little tackle. Okay. That seems like enough for me. Ember! <gasps> okay. Okay. Burned! Okay. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I don't wanna be hurt by burns. Uh we're gonna switch to 
axe. Look at this Leo. Oh my god, she looks magnificent. Oh, she shall be a wonderful addition to the team. Lear! Okay, no big deal. No big whoop. Am I right? Here we go. All right, all right. I think we got it. We're gonna go Pokeball. We're gonna go Premier Ball because why not? Get a fancy. Premier Ball is the exact same effectiveness as a Pokeball. It's just a palette swap. Two. Uh -huh. Oh! Oh, it is. Oh. Oh, happy day. Yes, we have gotcha. L Leo was caught. What? Yes. Yes. Tarthur and Gust. Oh, what a. What excellentness. What excellent. We have a lion on our teams. On our team. Oh, and she shall be mighty. Oh, the stronger the opponent it faces, the more heat surges from its mane. Indeed. Mm hmm. Here we go. Yep. Little Leo. Mm hmm. Let's find a name real quick. Okay, there we go. Chloeo. There we go. So, uh, this is named after you, Chloe girl, but uh, also because it's little Leo, I went with Chloeo. There we go. Chloeo. What's up? So, I think probably named after someone named Chloe. There we go. Uh, yay. Oh, I'm so excited. We, this, I was like, uh, I've been hoping for like months that in this patch of grass we run into this exact Pokemon. So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man. Little, lit, lit Leo. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. We can't even cut to go get that. I'm immediately gonna go heal. I'm so pumped about this. Let's go. Oh yes, fantastic. We have a lion, you guys. Did I mention that we have a lion on the team? Because we do. Chloeo. Ba, 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 ba. Healing up my lion. We have got a lion. And two birds and a frog. Just a lion and two birds and a frog. Two fire types. By the way, if anything, I have a feeling this is going to be bad for, um, for the relationship between Tom John and Tarth. Because I, I can almost guarantee you Tarth is going to one side with the other female on the team and two side with the other fire type on the team. So that's immediately what we're gonna be looking out for. Also, what we're gonna be looking out for is putting Chloeo, uh, whoop, whoop, uh, switch to the front. What up, Chloeo? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go fight this dumb junior trainer. Dude, the trick to quick crazy a low level Pokemon is yeah, okay. I understand, I'm already doing that. Hey, you, you didn't want to fight. That guy didn't want to fight me because he was too afraid. You're too afraid. I understand, I'm very good. You all are not very good. Um, what about you? Hey, yes, little bad hair owl. You look like a hoot hoot sitting on your head. You know what this is, right? It's the beginning of a Pokemon battle. It's probably not how menacing that guy sounded. Ah, uh, maybe it was. Pidgey. Yeah, I've got a Pidgey. Her name is Tarth. She's better than yours. Also, I have a lion. Maybe you've heard unnerved, too nervous to eat berries. Yeah, you should be nervous. My gosh, look how big she looks. She looks enormous. Also, we're totally gonna switch because we're out leveled right now. And because uh, we gotta get, we gotta get Chloe -O accustomed to the team. Want her to be introduced nicely. Know she can trust some other team members. And who better to do that than the mighty Axe? Oh yes, Axe, I will tell you, um, is, is uh, as we discussed last time, I think not like, a, not like a pacifist or anything like that, but is one who would prefer not to resort to violence right away. You can tell, it's like there's a lot of, um, not a lot of, I haven't, it's only been, we're only two roots in, but there is certainly like some, like, some like meditation happening, you know, very like, very focused um, is Axe, just really likes to contemplate, like, oh yay, we're definitely gonna switch because this is an easy win. Chloe, you go, switch, yay! Fight the Metapod, you can do it! Oh yeah, we're gonna get two levels out of this fight. Oh, I love it when they have like easy kill metapods because we're just gonna burn it with fire. Oh, uh, see, the fun thing about Chloe O2 is that she's part normal, so 
uh, like things like tackle also get stab, which is gonna be fun. But I'm definitely, I would much rather burn stuff than I would tackle stuff, so die. Also, Metapod is weak to fire because he's a dumb bug and we're an awesome lion. Yay, we're level seven. We're level seven. We're level seven. There we go. We are crushing it. Yes. Oh, did I, do you guys remember when we caught that lion and we added her to the team? Because I super do. Yeah, hey, you want to fight? Do you have a lion? Is Pokemon battling just a hobby to you? Or do you want to become a pro? Oh, oh, we're going pro, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Rising Star, Loic, you're gonna need a way better name than Loic, I think. Also, I don't love this. Uh, let's see, oh gosh, he's got level nine Riolu. I don't like this at all. Um, hmm, I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. On the one hand, we could burn it with fire. On the other hand, he's two levels higher. I don't think they'll one-shot us. That would be ridiculous. Go, Ember! Oh, quick attack. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, that didn't do much. Oh, that didn't do much either, though. Okay, I don't like where this is going at all, so we're gonna immediately switch to Axe here. Um, just for level advantage. We're probably gonna get a level out of this either way. Let's see. Do you see the di ah? See the problem is when you have to play with the set battle. Oh, did you identify me? Did you think I'd have a ghost this early in the game? Is that even possible? Have you heard of bubbles? Endure. What? Interesting. Okay. Also, but have you heard of bubbles? Okay, now I'm not feeling so nervous. I'm kind of nervous that this is exact. See what this game is doing though? Like level nine Riolu right here on this little route. That, that's like a, a taste of things to come, right? Like things will be going normal and then all of a sudden, boom, random super hard fight. Like it's not, that wasn't that hard, but you can see what's coming, right? Work up. What does that do? That sounds like it boosts a bunch of stats. I like that. I like that. Chloe, what does your workup attack do? Let's take a quick look. Man, it's been a while since I've actually played through a game of Pokemon. Summary. What does workup do? Oh, it makes you super attack heavy. I like that. Uh, let's see. Let's also take a look at your uh -huh, defense, special defense. There we go. You are more of a special attacker. That's good to know. That's good to know. And, uh, okay, get off this. There we go. Oh, hasty. Hasty. So we have a very impatient, very attack <laughs> forward lion. This is, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh. What a, what a, uh, what a dangerous creature we're about to own. For everyone else, that is. What do you want? Go, go, Buttleby. We'll do this as a team. Yeah. Fried rabbit. Am I right? I suppose it's possible this thing has a ground attack, which I would not want Cloleo to have to, or Cloleo have to, to have to deal with. But um, we're definitely just gonna let the the bubble machine that is the mighty axe deal with it. There we go. Tackle. I don't think so. I don't think so. How about bubbles? Look at that. Look at that, yes. Oh, agility. Agility? You really, you think this next move is gonna be the big difference maker? Let's see it. What you got? Leer, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, all that speed and all you did was give me the stare down? Bunnelby, what are you doing? You cannot handle mighty, mighty axe. Axe chop you like tree. Chloeo grow to level nine. Grow. That's what I'm. That's my. That's what I'm saying now. 
I can I can speak word is word is isn't that diff oh gosh I'm gonna here do we have a potion do 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 oh yes we do wonderful use, 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 use. just in case there we go as we get further down this route I'm like oh man what kind of what kind of bogus fight are they gonna throw at me here See this small ledge right next to me? You can jump over it for a shortcut. It's one way though, if you jump over it by act. Okay, I understand. Oh, you. Oh, hey, what's up, fight? I care less about battling than just showing off my awesome Pokemon to everyone. What kind of awesome Pokemon did you get? What'd you catch? A fla baby. Oh, fla baby. Fla baby. Boy, I super want a fairy type on the team and I super don't want it to be Flabebe and I'm pretty sure we're gonna catch one because it's like in every patch of grass ever. Uh, Ember, I wanna say, uh, you've already got a fairy type attack. Hmm, it's not very effective. Okay, I knew there was a relationship between, oh, I think I know what's happening. I think, do they resist each other? It looks like we resisted the fairy type attack. But they didn't take super effective damage, and I'm pretty sure it's fairy grass. It almost has to be. Um, let's just tackle it, see how that does. Ah, better. I think fairy resists fire, but then probably grass is definitely weak to fire, so I think that's what's happening here. Yay, it's dead! Sorry, Fla baby. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. That Flabebe had it coming. Chloe, I'll go to level 10. Oh, mighty lion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mighty lion S, actually. Am I right? <laughs> okay. Let's top off them skateroos. Oh, can I already go through this route? Can I catch something else? Oh, oh. Oh, that looks like where you go to the Elite Four. I'm pretty sure you, I don't think we can go this way. Oh, is this a fight? Where do you think you're going? Listen up, taking on challenges may be important, but as for what lies beyond here, you're not ready to tackle that yet. Well, they couldn't come up with anything more clever than you're not ready. They don't know. They don't know me. I'm the very best that no one ever was. There's a scyther in that grass over there. I want to go through there. I'm pretty sure that's actually true. I'm, I'm fairly certain you can catch scyther um, on the other side of that gate, which would be amazing because I love scyther. It's my favorite Pokemon ever, but super potion. Yay. That's great. And hop, 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 hop. Let's see, so we are at level, what's our level count here? Nine, nine, let's get Tom, John, and Tarth both to level 10, and then we will um, go ahead and tackle this gym. And I mean tackle, like with our lion. Except we'll probably just burn everything with fire because we, we can also do that. Oh my gosh. Look what we might have run into, Azuril, Azuril, but instead we ran into a lion. That was fan. That was great. Big pecs, haha! -ha. You've got nothing. Do 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 do. Yeah. Tail whip. You learned nothing. You cannot lower my my defense, but I can quick attack your butt. Which I mean, that little thing that bouncing on. It has a detached butt. That's what my interpretation of Ezreal is. You would probably call it a tail. Maybe it is. Do, do, do. Oh my gosh. I'm so. Yeah. If we had to catch one of these things instead, like, because we already have a water type, the best water type there ever was in Axe, the Froakie. Boy, these Ezreal are easy kills, though, aren't they? Maybe we'll get some sort of flying attack at level 10. That would be great. Or like Ember, that would be good too. Although less good because we're not quite a fire type yet, but either way. Excuse me. 32. Oh, the other thing we're gonna have to figure out that you guys can, uh, well, you know what? We'll save it for the next episode. We'll save it, we'll save it, but 
of course. I like I like it where I can have you guys uh, opinions on things. So we'll, we'll try to space it out for another episode. That'll be good. Let's see though. How are we doing? Did we get to level ten? Oh, a far fetched. That's interesting. Boy, I would have been okay if we ran into that. I mean, who doesn't want three birds on their team, right? <laughs> right? Level seven far fetched too. Um, I guess we may as well bring in Mighty Tarth here. It's speaking of Tarth, uh, Beth and I have been power watching Game of Thrones in preparation for Game of Thrones, and uh, we just met Brienne of Tarth a couple episodes ago. She's one of my, I think she's a, she's a pretty good character. Pretty good character on the show there. Big fan. So, good timing to get a, get a Pokemon named Tarth. No Fury Attack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh no. I don't like this. Okay, not enjoying this fight with the far-fetched as much as I thought I might um, And his level seven is dealing out some serious damage Not serious, but like nerve-wracking damage, I guess Any any oh, it makes me it's the way you played this game is so differently when a single Mishap it's like oh are we at half health are we at 75% better just switch no reason. If you were ever in striking distance of death, it's just like, uh, no. Yeah, look at that. You see that? Two sand attacks and axe swings the axe. His aim is true. Tarth go to level 10. That's all we needed. Fantastic. And uh, now we're just going to go heal and we'll tackle this gym. That will be that. I love the addition of roller skates, by the way. It's such a... Ooh, look. Go, 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 go. Dude, no, don't sit on a chair. That's the, what do you, why? Why would we sit on a chair? We're going to go battle. We have big important things to do. Here we go. Take those Pokemon. Yes, fantastic. Do, 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 do. All right, let's make sure we have uh, the appropriate Pokemon at the start here. We're going to obviously be leading with Cleo, Cloio. Ba-boom. Glowio. Glowio! The Mighty Lion. Actually, uh, Litleo is a cool Pokemon in this game because if you... Oh, no, what is this? This looks like some dumb school. I don't want to go... Yeah, I'm afraid. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. We're not here to uh, learn. We're here to uh, teach uh, people about uh, fiery lions and uh, watery frogs. Do, 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 do. Ah boing. It looks to me that if we just boinged again, we might have avoided the maze, but whatever. Hey, you want to fight? Watch, I bet by the end of this gym, Cloeo is actually our strongest Pokemon because we're just going to ember everything in sight. Lady Ba. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Ledia, Lediba is a Pokemon I always want to like because I think Ledi, um, Ledian, which is what it evolves into, it like it's like based on some sort of like Japanese superhero kind of thing. It's got like really big eyes and looks like it kind of looks like a superhero, but it's just like I wish they made it a little bit better for how cool it looks because it would be funny like to have this unassuming looking thing be so good. Uh, oh no, we're confused. Oh gosh. Oh boy, I don't know if I like that. Tackle, let's do it. Don't hit yourself. Don't do it. Yeah, okay. A little worried. Sometimes Pokemon that are a little more aggressive can be more easily affected by confusion, but uh, there we go. Do you guys remember the mighty flow? Oh my gosh, no one was ever confused less. So frequently they tried, so frequently they failed. Oh, the little droplets don't actually block your path. That's good to know. We gotta go down here. We're gonna go fight this dude standing on this platform. What's up, dude? Do you have any idea how quickly bug high Pokemon evolve? Uh, do you have any idea how much I have a lion on my team? That's a good question. A Spoopa. A Spoopa. Yeah. Oh, if only we caught a Spoopa or a Scatterbug, though. 
I would have loved to have had the to have the Vivalon on my team. That'd have been fun. That'd have been fun. But whatever, it's all good. Emba, doink. Yeah, you're burned. Yeah, nice tackle. I'm afraid not. It was a good effort, but now you're dead. Oh, it didn't kill it. Oh, it's so close. Either way, either way, tackle, 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 tackle. Kaboom! That's what we wanted. There we go. Level 11. Chloeo learned flamethrower. Right? Right? Oh, headbutt. Okay. Uh, forget? Yeah, we're definitely gonna forget something. We're definitely gonna forget tackle because why would we want tackle when we could have flamethrower? It doesn't make any sense. Not flamethrower, headbutt. Also flamethrower, but we're not actually learning that. Headbutt, very good. Headbutt is stab flinching now, so. <laughs> man, you do a quick workup. Workup does physical and special attack too, man. I am enjoying already Chloe O a lot. If you guys couldn't tell, I was so happy we caught it. <laughs> uh, I was so worried we'd catch something like the Azeroth, but we didn't, but we didn't. So the question will be when we're fighting whoever the leader is here, should we, should we do the workup first? I feel like we should. Um, and then, for, but then she might do something like poison. Oh, I didn't account for poison yet. Mm, uh, do we have any antidotes? That's a good thing. That'd be worth knowing. Unless we just burn them so fast that it doesn't even matter. We've got some super potions, so there is that to consider. But she's 100% gonna use that like infestation move, a combi. Yeah, interesting. Female combi, super rare. Pretty good, pretty good catch on your part, bug person. The opposing combi fan, I mean, not strong yet. Male combi can't evolve, but female combi can into Vespiquin. Very cool, very cool. There we go. You defeated last Charlotte, yay! Oh, no fair, my web wasn't strong enough to keep you. What web, you can use a new web. Okay, all right. So, here we go. First gym battle. The question will be, should we use workup right out of the gate? I think we should. We should probably potion too, just to be extra safe. You never know what a few extra hit points might save you, excuse me. Here we go, use, kabam. I don't think we have any, uh, we don't have any berries. We don't have any antidotes. I don't think that's gonna be a huge issue, but you never know. Famous last words, right? All right, here we go. Chloeo versus the camera, I guess. That determined expression, that glint in your eye that says you're up to the challenge. It's fantastic, just fantastic. Is this your first time challenging a gym? Not really, I mean, I've won a lot of gym battles before. Whether it's the tears of frustration that follow a loss or the blossoming joy that comes from victory, they're both great subjects. If you take my photo right now, without my consent. Hey, oh, mm. Shouldn't have done that, you shouldn't have done that. Viola. Bring it on. Bring it on. You are challenged by Leader Viola. She's saying, oh, serious. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky, sneak, sneak. She has a water type bug. She knows exactly what lives outside of her gym. Oh, how sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Fortunately, we know what to do. We're just going to bring in, uh, let's just bring in Axe, right? I guess we could bring in Tarth and try and do some gusting. We'll see how that goes. I bet she uses water sport. This would actually be a good time to use water sport, which is almost never. I guess it's such a dumb move. Yep, there it is. Fire's power was weakened. I think this only lasts a few turns though. Um, it's gonna be totally lame. All right, Tarth. Well, that did nothing. Like five damage, let's see, gust. But can you account for the wind? See, I guess they have this in case you chose um, Fennekin, or I guess in case you caught uh, a Lilia. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see. The second attack did nine damage, and the first one did five, so we should be good. <sighs> Let's see, this is such, this is like crit range, you know what I mean? This is so annoying. It's like, oh, please don't, please don't crit and kill my Tarth. Please don't do it. I'll be so upset if you do that, and then I won't like you very much, so just gust. Oh, you used a potion, you cheater! 
I would have used the, I might have used the potion myself, honestly. There we go. That didn't really do anything. They're still in the kill range. It just wasted potion. That's good. Now she can't use it on her Vivalon, which is nice. Quick attack. It shouldn't kill us. Should not kill us. That's right. You didn't kill us. And we're just going to gust. And then your search gets going to die. And then Tarth and uh, Chloe are going to get some experience. And that's what's going to happen. Boom. 115. What? Chloe leveled up. That would have been amazing. And look at that. The effects of water sport have faded. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. And now we're going to switch to Chloe. Here we go. Bring on the lion. Of course, we've got to take your bug infestation here, whatever she's gonna dumb. Which means I don't think we're gonna be able to switch. Ready? Ready? A nerve. Too nervous to eat berries. That's nice because almost certainly this thing has a berry. There's infestation. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna hit us again. Don't like that. <coughs> Just have to keep an eye on it. Um. So should we go for the immediate ember or should we do the workup? I feel like ember is just straight up. Let's just do it. Harden. Oh, okay. So that's actually okay because we're using ember and this is just going to be, oh, it's so close. We're going to take the infestation damage. Harden doesn't do, does it? Yeah, so we should just keep ember in here. Um, that's special damage and she's defending against physical damage so let's see she can't use her berries which is nice i wonder infestation again it didn't do too much damage last time yeah well it is like two she already used her potion does she have another see this would be a great opportunity if she has a potion to go ahead and use work up because then we get like a free turn of stat boosting but if she doesn't i don't think she would have two we can just ember. Oh my gosh, for a second I thought her tackle might have been a little bit stronger. It wasn't! Chloeo wins the day, as expected. No workup needed. 475, boom! Level 13, we're gonna have two level 13 pokes on the team. What? Yes, oh, I'm sorry, Never mind. I told you, by the end of this gym, Chloeo might be the strongest. What? That was amazing. Tarko to level 11. Oh my gosh. Tarko to level 12. What's happening? How much experience can one bug have? I wonder if I'm going to show me a whole new... Wow, we got... Did we get four levels off that one bug Pokemon? I think we did. No, it was not you alone. Your little Lou showed me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic. We got our first badge. What? That's amazing. Yay. And we have a fire lion. We have a fire lion. Infestation. Yeah, we're probably not going to use that very much, but I guess if we get a, uh, a bug type, can't hurt. Can't hurt. If we had our own Vivalon, I totally would have taught it then. Okay, well, there you go, guys. We have done it. We have won our first gym battle. It was amazing. We got a brand new, super awesome team member. I'm very excited about it. We're just going to go ahead and save the game real quick. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Save the game. Awesome. Uh, so don't forget, let me know. What do you think? EXP share on or off? I am uh, open to either. I think it'll save me years, probably years worth of time to have it on. That's what I'm saying, because a lot of times we'll just go grind and get everything up to like whatever level anyway before we advance. So that's essentially the same thing as if we just have it on and have people be higher levels. But I understand your holdups if you don't want to do that. Um, it's just going to take me a lot longer to make the videos, but hey, whatever. I get it. Nuzlocke is Nuzlocke. So that's how we're, that's. Uh, Sometimes just how it goes. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget we name new team members after people who leave comments. So be sure to leave a comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye. Boom dead, ha.